you need to understand as a trader that now if you are approaching the market at this time if you're approaching the market at this time then know that uh your price action should be something that is unique your price action should be on another level for an example i made a video a uh, few days ago uh it has a uh, very very few views it means that few people have seen it this video i was showing a uh, markets which are tradable and markets which are not tradable so there are markets where when you are just analyzing the market you can see that the market is very vol very volatile meaning it is not playing out the way it is supposed to so that's why even me when i uh when i'm trading now it is not every pair that i trade it is not every currency pair that i trade it is not every stock that i trade it is not every asset that i trade for an example if you can look at my watch list here i have just few when it comes to currency pairs i have uh only four uh euro usd usd card usd jpy or usd those are currency pairs that i'm trading and the rest it is crypto uh indices uh oil and gold so why because i have observed that uh when it comes to the other markets <clears throat> more especially the markets which are not major which are not major pairs you will find out that when they are playing out the market is more volatile the market is more volatile i made an example with bitcoin let us just see so you can see uh the movement of bitcoin here currently you can see that the market is not making any noise it is just flowing very very smooth without any disturbance without any uh interaction you see meaning if you are to apply anything here when it comes to bitcoin it is just going to work smoothly without any effect because the market is behaving normally it is not making noise it is not volatile so for an example when it comes to you uh putting patterns here they will just play out why because the market is not in a volatile state but the market is flowing calmly the market is moving very very smooth so there will be a uh, a low risk when it comes to you attaining losses that the risk will be just uh limited so let me just check uh the market that is uh flowing differently okay this one is good so the the way that you are going to see that this market is not tradable it is uh it is going to be uh the size of the candles and the weeks meaning if it has very very long weeks and uh it is moving it is busy moving up and down that market is not tradable for an example uh the one that was opening uh okay let us make an example with gold so for an example gold in this in this state it was uh more like volatile uh maybe let me just start here in this state it was more volatile why because it was made of big candles which has a uh, long tails or wicks and also the price structure was not uh clean for an example it will be like the price has been moving by mistake here if you can see here price moved up and all of a sudden there was just a quick correction or a quick uh, opposition it like it was a mistake for the price to go up and then all of a sudden it drops back in quickly so those are things that are happening when it comes to untradable markets i don't say gold is not tradable but at this current state it was volatile so meaning it was not easy for you to detect patterns it was not easy for you to detect uh, market structures it was not easy for you to detect uh clear uh, uh trends or clear uh ranges that we are going to follow that we are going to trade so if that market is in that state there is no need for you as a trader to take chances and say price is on a support here i'm going to press the buy why because you don't know what will happen next meaning when you trade such a market are uh, your possibilities they are being lowered your possibilities are being lowered we know that uh price action is about uh 70 percent accurate uh it is about 70 percent accurate but when you approach a market which is not clear this number is being lowered this number is being lowered so now uh, you will be at the risk to lose this trade why because the market structure is not following what we know which is price 
uh, action. We are trading price action based on the psychology of traders. So it is patterns which happened in the past and which we are expecting uh, them to happen currently. So then what you need to know is that in the past, the market was not behaving uh, as uh, volatile as this. It is because now the market is overcrowded. There are a lot of people now trading. There are a lot of retail traders now trading and even brokers. They have... Uh, they are no longer uh, having pure motives. Their motives are now uh, mixed up. Some they want to rip traders off. So they will try by all means uh, to change the market structure. They will try by all means uh, to modify the market movement. So in that way, uh, it will affect your trading. So one thing that I'm going to, av to advise you as a trader, uh, it is to make sure that you stay away uh, from uh, pairs which are not major pairs and you stay away from pairs which are, are, are volatile in that current moment. So if you want to trade markets very, very smoothly, uh, if you are able, I will advise you to also add more of uh, other assets rather than currencies, to add even maybe commodities or indices or uh, a part of cryptocurrency or stocks. Those markets, they are still behaving fine. Why? It is because them, uh, if you are looking at a stock, it is because a stock, it is something that can be trackable. It is something that uh, has a record. The company has a record. So there is nothing funny that can happen. You see, there is nothing funny that can happen. <clears throat> so those are markets which are, uh, are still behaving very, very well. That's why he, I've eliminated a lot of currency pairs. Why? Because they are not behaving fine. They are not behaving the way I want them to behave. You can ask yourself as a trader, why am I losing yet? I have a lot of knowledge. Why am I losing? Why am I not able to make money while I have more knowledge? It is because of the market. It is not because of you. The markets have changed. There is a revolution in the market. So make sure that you focus on markets which are still pure, which are still behaving very, very uh, calm. I hope uh, that one is making sense. <clears throat> And also one important thing that is going to help you in your trading uh, because the purpose and the reason we are trading, it is to make money. So one thing that is going to help you as a trader, it is not only uh, focusing maybe on day trading. Now I'm just advising you, it is not only maybe focusing on day trading because day trading, we are just uh, opening trades and we are closing trades within the day. But there are assets which uh, require you as a trader to focus maybe even on long-term investment. For an example, uh, when it comes to uh, Bitcoin, it has been going up and it is still going to go up. So those are assets that you as a trader, you should own. You should acquire part of it, meaning you should be investing in uh, in that particular asset. For an example, not actually just trading, but just maybe purchasing a $200 worth of Bitcoin and just storing it there, just not touching it, not doing anything. So that, that one is going to help you in the long run because we are investors here. We are not just here uh, to make money quickly and then we go. We are just here to invest. So it is going to help you. If you are seeing a market moving in a clear direction, uh, make sure that you stay in that direction until the market reverses, until the market reverses. If you are, let me just check a market that is uh, moving in a just clear direction. Seems like most of them are on a range, on a range, on a range. Okay, let me just make an example with Bitcoin. Let me not search other pairs. For an example, let's say you are trading here. Let's say you are trading here. And then uh, you purchase uh, this asset or you buy this asset uh, somewhere around this point here, somewhere around this point here. And all of a sudden, when the market reaches this level, let's say maybe you go out of the trade, you go out of the trade. There is one thing that I advise you guys about uh, trade management is, and scaling in. I told it uh, a while ago that if you want to really uh, make money from the market, you really need to divide your positions. For an example, you are buying here. Let's say uh, you are 
you you analyzed your risk and you 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 came with a conclusion that in every trade I take I will use a lot size of 1.0 so now instead of you buying this with 1.0 I will advise you to say okay I'm going to buy this but I'm just going to open two positions with 0 0.5 so now you have two positions uh, with 0 0.5 so now these two positions the other position it is a position that is going to be long term and the other position it is going to be a position which is based on price action meaning you are going to close the trade when you see strength uh, being opposed when you see strength being opposed meaning in in the in one trade you will be quick to react and in the uh, in the other trade you will wait until the market starts to reverse so if for an example you buy here two positions and uh, you see here sellers coming in market going down not making uh, a new high maybe let's say you panic and you close the other one although we we needed another confirmation remember a reversal confirmation it should be a, a a lower high and a lower low but here we only had a high but there was no lower high the, i mean lower low here we needed a lower low somewhere here but we only had a low down there which was higher than the previous one meaning this was just only a market squeeze this was just only a market squeeze which will bring forward an activation in the future or a breakout so then you close the, the the one trade because of panic and then the other trade that's the trade that is going to remain and make you money as long as the, the market is going up until the market begin to form a sequence of lower highs and lower lows then that's where you're going to say no i'm not willing to stay in this trade i'm closing everything so that's when you're going to close everything because now the market is reversed. So I hope that is making sense. I hope uh, that is making sense. Let us make sure that in whatever, in whatever that we do as traders, we don't jump in anyhow. We don't choose markets anyhow. Just make sure that you focus on a market that is flowing very, very smoothly. There are, there are a lot of traders who specialize maybe in single uh, car, uh, currency pairs, but I thought about that, that we shouldn't just choose one asset. You can choose one asset if you will be patient enough. If you'll be patient enough, you can say, me, I decide to trade Bitcoin. Me, I decide to trade USD, JPY. If you are going to be patient enough, because it is not every time that is going to, that, that this pay is going to be showing you opportunity. But what you need to know is that every second in the market, uh, uh, there is money being made, meaning the market is, is always moving. So in that movement, there are people who are making money in it. But you, if you are to focus on one pair, then you need to make sure that you you have enough time to analyze that pair, to know that pair, even when you are sleeping, you know what it is doing right now because you have analyzed it before you sleep. And make sure that you are not someone who is into quick gains. Because if you are into quick gains, you'll find yourself selling here uh, even when you are not supposed to sell. Why? Because you need to be, you need to trade. You can't be staying without trading. You have to make money. So that's something which we should avoid as traders. Make sure that you avoid focusing on one pair if you are not patient enough. If you are patient, it is very, very good and it can really help you a lot. You can really make money from that because your research will be narrowed uh, to one uh, uh, pair. Your research, it will be just narrow and you will develop a relationship with this pair because the way USDJPY behaves, it is completely different to the way EURUSD behave. It is completely different to the way USD card behave, even in terms of market structure, in terms of patterns, in terms of sequence, there is a difference. So the time you focus on limited number of pairs, that's where the relationship grows and that's where you develop understanding standing because for us to dominate these pairs for us to make money from these pairs it is for it is a requirement that we develop a relationship there is a requirement that we develop a personal knowledge on usdjpy how does it behave how does it move when it is doing like this what is it going to do next based on my experience so 
that's one thing that is going to help you guys that's one thing that is going to help you so if you have any question you can ask any question as i proceed any question is any question any question any question and guys if you are using trading view if you are using trading view i'm just going to recommend uh these two uh indicators which i've been using for a while but the, the problem is that sometimes when i make a video or when i make a webinar i make sure that i remove indicators in my screen uh, so that it doesn't confuse you or so that it doesn't raise questions but what i can tell you is that uh the purpose of indicators as i taught you it is uh to warn you it is just to limit uh the time that you're going to spend researching trying to find out an oversold or overbought position uh, so i have two indicators here i have this one here and i have this one below here that is this one uh, above here it is more like a signal uh, indicator giving you signals on when to buy and when to sell and 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 so on and so on it is a good indicator with a good return or uh, with a good uh, uh, probability so when it comes to this indicator it is an indicator that is going to tell you when uh, the strength is on the side of the buyers or when the sellers are being exhausted for an example here there, there was a, a buy signal here and here there was a sell signal so these indicators are very good but don't ever rely on them well, let me just don't ever rely on them only don't ever rely on them that's why i'm teaching you price action that's why i also use price action but just to limit my time that i'm going to spend trying to find maybe uh these uh over over overboard zones or this oversold zone this indicator just helps me out you see so it is just here just to assist me not that i depend on it but i'm just giving you something that is going to assist you guys which is going to show you for an example this one it just give you a signal even after a pattern break for an example we had an upward flag here uh, i mean a downward flag so here was a flag which was here to give us a downward signal so this signal came in just after the pattern break same thing applies to this one it came in just after the downward flow uh was broken so these indicators they they are just created to assist you based on what you already know as a trader so uh you can just apply uh, there is there is its name yeah there is its name here it's super super tracks it is fine here on indicators it is just free indicators uh no complication so i hope i hope it is making sense so if we don't have any questions uh then i'm going to close because this was just a short message that I, I, I wanted to give you guys that it is simple to lose in forex by just trading a market which is not tradable you you can lose a ton you can lose a lot of money so just focus on markets which are clean focus on markets which are not volatile focus on markets which are you understand the structure don't uh don't be someone who is excited to just click uh buy or sell make sure that you are even excited to wait for a trade to wait for a trade to play out to wait for a trade to form that structure that you want then you are going to be profitable in in trading so thank you guys for joining thank you for joining thank you for joining gpusd uh usdjpy behave differently can you tell about stochastic okay uh gvsd usd behave differently yeah 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 they behave differently they behave differently they behave differently why are they behaving differently it is because uh looking at the gbp and the japanese yen the economy or the state of uh these countries uh they are very different and they are being moved or they are being affected by different things they are being affected by different things uh i haven't done a research on uh what makes the japanese economy to stand or 
<clears throat> the pound economy to stand but i'll make an example with uh card uh the canadian uh, uh dollar so if you are see, you are to see the canadian dollar its economy it is uh affected mostly by gold you see it is affected mostly by gold and others there are economies which are affected mostly by oil others it is just imports and exports others it is just uh other things so the the, the economy is affected by different things so then the behavior of, of those pairs is going to be different is breakout strategy uh, more better than supply and demand or support and resistance okay breakout strategy is it different from support and resistance no no it is it is it is one thing you are separating things that cannot be separated because for us to have a breakout, we need to have a, a support and a resistance. So if you are trading support and resistance, let me just put a line here. And then maybe even here. And then here. And then maybe somewhere here. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm just putting the lines here. So if you are trading using support and resistance, then you need to understand that breakouts, they are, they, they are part of it. Why? Because support and resistance, they are always are broken out. They are always broken. So for an example, this one, it will be broken in the future. This one was also broken. This one was also broken here. Uh, so support and resistance with breakouts, they work. So you cannot say me, I will only uh sell resistance and buy support what about breakouts what about breakout because they happen also in those same zones so if you if you like support and resistance also learn how to trade breakouts because they are directly linked so if you know support and resistance and you don't know breakouts then you will lose because those are things which are happening frequently in the market the market is just made of support resistance breakout and trend so it is those things which make the market. How can one know where the market reversed based on price action considering different uh, time frame? Uh, I don't know what's that shed or oh, shed more lights, please. Okay. Based on different time frame. Okay. This is something which I speak about in every single video when it comes to saying when is the market going to reverse it is simple let me just make an illustration it is simple let's say we have this market going up here and then all of a sudden it does this so it hasn't reversed yet but then this market is going to reverse you see why because of the strength which is changing here it was strong big waves and all of a sudden it is weak small waves and it couldn't make higher highs so it is about to reverse you see before it can even reverse you have just seen it here on its high that okay it is about to reverse why because the market it is simply one thing it is one thing it is just a display of the strength between the sellers and the buyers so this is just a definition of a chart a chart it is just a display of the strength between buyers and sellers simple so everything that you do it is just be based on strength if you are to see a reversal it will be strength if you are to see uh, a continuation it will be based on strength just be able to identify momentum then you have uh, won you have won in trading price action is all about momentum higher highs higher lows lower highs lower lows that's momentum so i hope I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear. I enlight this thing in, in more of my videos, in most of my videos. You can check the YouTube. There's a playlist about trend trading, the trend trading course. I think uh, the third video or the second video, I highlight about strength. And also the this course uh, for volatility index, I also uh, mention strength there. So I just mention momentum and strength now and then. And if you are struggling with with uh identifying it with your eyes there are things that will help you for an example volume it can help you i once thought about about volume but i will teach with uh, about it again volume and momentum indicators uh those things they help you to to show you the strength 
So just study volume and uh, other momentum indicators. Can you touch Fibonacci, please? Okay, so these things that you are, you are telling me, guys, it means that these are going to be topics of the next day because now we are left with very, very few minutes. Fibonacci, I touched Fibonacci. Uh, those who, who have been here, I, I think they remember. I think it was three months ago I touched Fibonacci, but I will touch it again because you have, re you have requested it. So I will touch it again. Uh, I hope there is no other question. So this, th these other questions that you are posting, guys, I'm just briefing you, but I will just make uh, lessons based on that. So uh, I will touch Fibonacci and teach you everything about it. So I hope we, we all enjoy it. So guys, we are going to end here for today. We are going to end here for today. So thank you for joining uh, this meeting. Uh, we'll see each other on social media, on YouTube, on Telegram, on Instagram. Uh, and again, we'll meet uh, in this place. I'm not sure when, but... Uh, I'm just trying to make these things frequently so that you will receive more value. So thank you guys for joining.